y of omega, as you can formula element, also known in physics as energy momentum tensor, gives a series for which the coefficients uh, are generators of uh, Virasur algebra with a certain fixed central charge. And there is a certain locality, there was a locality condition on Y, which I'm not going to repeat. And then we also introduced the notion of modules. So this was a pair M, Y, M. M is again a complex vector space. And Y, M is a map similar to Y from V to endomorphisms of M series, formula around series in that. And there was also a locality condition uh, on YM, which I didn't write. Okay? So I promise to give you, give you some simple example, which will be uh, relevant, which will be also relevant for the story about uh, relation between vertex operator algebra and four manifolds. Uh, but so far, let me just give it as an example of just VOA without uh, reference to four manifolds. So it's uh, what in mass literature often called Heisenberg VOA. So in physics, this is a mathematical structure which describes uh, two dimensional free chiral. So, so in order to produce, so we, need, we want to start with H, some real vector space, and it's uh, equipped with a symmetric, non-degenerate pairing, uh, which is a real valued. And uh, then from this data, one can define Heisenberg Lie algebra, which already appeared yesterday in North talk, and it was also it's, it's, it's appeared in the context of uh, Hilbert scheme of points, which also will be relevant later for us. Uh, so let me remind you, and also. Uh, and also, you know, to fix some notations, Heisenberg Lie algebra. So let me denote it by the Heisenberg of H. So as a vector space, it's uh, the following: it's a H tensor with uh, formal Laurent power, power, Laurent power series in some form variable T. So this can be understood as a loop space constructed from H. And I also add a, a certain cent central element, C. And so let me introduce the following notation. So if for H, for A, some element of my vector space H, I will denote, uh, uh, I can construct a corresponding element from this uh, vector space A with, uh, A with index N, which is by definition just A tensor with Tn. M is an integer. Then the uh, so the Lie, uh, Lie algebra structure on this vector space is given by the following relation. For any uh, pair of elements of H, the Lie bracket of the corresponding elements here is equal to N times delta n minus m, uh, the pairing of a and b times c, the central line. Okay, 
So now from this, uh, so uh, so there one can guess, so before uh, producing a vertex separate algebra, so one can introduce the notion of modules. Uh, consider the following modules of this Heisenberg Lie algebra, which also appeared already appeared yesterday in a certain form. Uh, so let me denote by Fock. Uh, let me fix some element lambda from my vector space H and denote Fock lambda of H is the highest weight uh, module of my algebra of uh, of my Heisenberg algebra, uh, which is uh, induced by the following uh, representation of a subalgebra generated by uh, negative uh, elements tensor with negative powers of t here. So it's, it's induced by the following relation. So first, uh, so, so what we do by lambda is a highest weight or lowest, depends what, how you want, highest weight vector, and it satisfies the following conditions. So A0 acting on lambda is equal to this, the pairing of A and lambda times lambda itself. So lambda is the eigen uh, vector of any A0, for A0 corresponding to any element A from H, A and AN acting on lambda is zero, for any n greater, for any positive, strictly positive integer. And C acts, the central element acts by just by the identity. And uh, of course then, uh, so more explicitly one can write this as a, so the Fox space, the probably by lambda as a, as, a, as a vector space is generated by all possible, by the actions of po all possible uh, generators here uh, with the negative indices. than zero. So of course you can you can also I mean it's uh, also as a vector space it's just as a morphic to a symmetric power of H tensor it is uh, powers uh, series in T with uh, negative powers. Any questions? So for many of you, this might be a very standard thing, but uh, as I learned sometimes, not uh, like not for all mathematicians. This is actually a standard so physicist. This is kind of standard for, for physicists. Okay. For mathematicians. okay, so, and then, uh, there's a statement that the uh, Fox space for when I take this element to be zero, Fox zero of H has structure of uh, vertex operator algebra. And uh, so let me introduce another notation. So for, for any element A in my vector space H, uh, you know, by A and Z, the formal powers formal around powers in, in variable z with coefficients being a n, which were defined previously. So these are generators, these are elements of the Heisenberg Lie algebra. So then, uh, so, so, 
So this is this this is uh, defines me uh, uh, v as a as a as a vector space. So the uh, the z two gradient everywhere will be zero here in this case, and uh, z gradient will be provided by the conformal element, which I will construct uh, in a moment. So I need to define to define a VOA structure. I need to define uh, how this y, the the how the, the y operator. So I need to define. So it's enough to define, of course, on any uh, generator here. So this will be given by the following formula. Here, uh, well, let me write it this way. So the product over all i from 1 to k, and then I take here so in the product, I take the derivative. So for each uh, guy here, I can start the function, the, the generative function using the following rule, and I take its derivative with respect to z. Uh, the the uh, n ice derivative, and uh, then I take the normal ordered product of this, which means so this is also already appear. But let me uh, l l l let me remind you. So normal ordering means uh, that uh, so we need to order all this operate all, all these uh, guys which are considered as elements. Of the Heisenberg Lie algebra, according to the following rules: so a n with uh, uh, n with the index less than zero will, will should be before a n's with uh, positive index. So now, so this gives me some 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 series in Z with coefficients being elements of the Heisenberg Lie algebra, but since this uh, uh, this vector space is a representation of the Heisenberg, Heisenberg Lie algebra. This is an element. The coefficients are elements of the endomorphism of V, as we want. And uh, so I also need to say what is one. So one here is just the unit element is just uh, uh, the highest weight vector. And uh, also I need to say what is omega, and omega is. Well, uh, so one way to define omega is to pick a basis. So let's uh, EI to be a basis in H and, uh, sorry, let's me with upper index. And e EI with lower index will be dual, dual basis, dual with respect to uh, the pairing. And then this uh, can be constructed as a following. exercise is to check that if I take y of this guy, the coefficients here will satisfy Virasora algebra relations. So here, uh, let me, so this, this is a bit different uh, from what you see. So yesterday, there, there was the, the, kind of the conformal element was depending on the choice of the element here, but here it's a kind of a unique. It's Any questions? Okay. So 
So another notion which will be useful for us later is the notion of uh, what is kind of vertex operators. So this is partly uh, the source of the name of the vertex operator algebra. So, uh, so one way to understand to consider to understand vector uh, vertex operators uh, is uh, as follows. So okay. So um, but before I do this, uh, so so here I can start with the v is a vector space of the uh, as a folk model folk folk, folk uh, space uh, with zero label of H. But of course uh, by this uh, by the similar construction I can understand. Uh, Fox space with some arbitrary label nu, lambda of H is a model of VOA uh, V, right? Because so what is the label lambda? lambda is any element of H. Lambda was an element of H itself. So the representation, this, uh, this Fock module was constructing by, uh, essentially this was uh, defining, this lambda defined the, 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 the weight of the highest weight vector. So, it, it, so the, the, y, the corresponding, corresponding y, the y for this, uh, for this model is defined by is is uh, defined by the same formula, right? Because here this formula gives you some uh, some elements of the Heisenberg the algebra, but of course since we already we already constructed uh, this as a model of Heisenberg the algebra defined by the same. Now the vertex operators can be understood as the following uh, linear maps from the Fox space. So again, let me choose, it will be labeled by lambda element of my vector space H, which I started with. And uh, it can be understood as the following linear map from uh, Fox space labeled by mu to Fox space labeled by mu plus lambda. And uh, with uh, tensor it with Laurent series in formal, par in, in formal variable Z. Well, up to, up to some overall Possibly real uh, power of Z, uh, the, fo the following power of Z. And uh, so they're given by the following formula, by the following explicit formula, which I will write in the moment. And uh, So in, informally, you can write it as a normal order of the, of the exponential of the following integral. So where, so again, this you, you use a construction, uh, you use a definition uh, which I wrote before, what this means. So this kind of gives you a series in Z with coefficient being lambda n's. But more explicitly, you can write it as follows. So this is Z to the power of lambda zero. And uh, there is some of our negative numbers and times exponent, some of our positive numbers and times Epsilon lambda, where epsilon lambda is uh, just operator, which uh, takes the highest weight vector here to the highest weight vector here. Uh, 
and uh, so it and it commutes uh, with all uh, other elements uh, of Heisenberg algebra except uh, the the element with index zero, which for which the commutation relation is uh, fixed by this relation essentially. In particular, so one can consider the following quantity, which has a some nice uh, physical interpretation, but uh, mathematically it defined as follows. So I start with the highest, say with a zero, uh, highest weight vector, and I act by the bunch of uh, vertex operators. Depending on different variables. And then I uh, uh, consider its uh, pairing with the, uh, with the element, which is a dual to uh, highest weight vector mu. And uh, so using the explicit, uh, all the explicit formulas, one can compute it. And uh, so of course it's uh, only well defined when, uh, because u lambda acts as follows between uh, different modules, uh, it's only well defined, it's, it's only uh, defined when the sum of lambda i's is the same as mu, and in this case, one can show that this is given by the following. A nice formula, the product of i less than j is that i minus the j to the power, which is the product of lambda i and lambda j. So here it uses the, the pairing in h, but I can uh, kind of, uh, Define it just to be zero if uh, if this is not satisfied. Just by saying that the modules with uh, different labels are naturally orthog orthogonal to each other. So physically, so this is uh, something which will appear in the context of uh, this multi-monopoly environments, uh, which we will talk about. But in, more generically, it's kind of in, in physics, it's like just uh, let me make a following quick remark. Remark. In, so since uh, this vertex operator algebra so describes some free theory, free, free, some, some two-dimensional quantum field theory uh, in physics, this corresponds uh, to a kind of a correlator on a sphere which you, where you insert this vertex operator algebra at so the points, z1, z2, z3, and so on. And, uh, but you also, at, at infinity, you insert, uh, so this, uh, the pairing up with this uh, dual to high speed vector probably by mu is equivalent to inserting u mu at uh, infinity. But you can consider, yeah, the def just this is the definition of, of the correlator. Questions? So the only positive power is when you apply this, lambda will come from this first. So, so. Where? Here it's, uh, yeah. Well, uh, so here you have. Oh, over the, ah, okay, okay. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, well, it's uh, here it's negative, right. so it's a positive power. But the, the point is that uh, whatever you acted, only uh, generically, only only finite number of guys here survives. 
but here uh, infinite number. So, so it's it's uh, it's it will be well defined actually, because whatever you whatever you act on an element on this uh, always the finite number of these guys will contribute with negative powers. Any other questions? Well, the, 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 the things which I wrote before, so this uh, A minus N with uh, N is greater than zero, the creation, and uh, those guys uh, with positive N are uh, annihilation. So that's why uh, only, uh, uh, si since you can kind of have a state with finite number of particles, only the finite number of this guy will. Uh, will act non trivial. You can kill all, only the finite number of guys. Okay. So the uh, kind of second example, but in a sense, it's an example which kind of built on uh, on this Heisenberg uh, vertex separator algebra example. Example, and it also will be relevant in the uh, four manifold story. So, this is what is called lattice UA. And so, let me fix uh, lattice lambda in H. So, what does it mean? So, lambda is a, uh, is a sub, so a subgroup of H, if I treat H as a, as a billion group. So, it's a subgroup. Which is isomorphic to Z, uh, the free abelian group of the rank being the same as dimension of H, and such that the pairing, if I take, take my pairing on H, which I had before, if, and I restrict to lambda, this pairing to lambda, this will be a valued in, the, in Z. And uh, so by lambda star, I will denote a dual lattice. So this also can be understood as a subspace of H, such that uh, kind of the maximal subspace of H, such that the pairing of elements from lambda star and lambda are, inte are integer valued. And uh, so there's the lattice VOA associated to this lattice lambda. So again, as a vector space, it's uh, will be just the following direct uh, sum of the Fock modules of the Heisenberg Lie algebra, where we take the sum of our labels, where labels belong to my lattice lambda. And uh, uh, then are so now I need to uh, define how y acts here. So an arbitrary element of the space has the following form, as we've seen before. So I need to tell you what, uh, so this is an element of the Fox space lambda by lambda, uh, where these n's are all uh, non-negative. And this is given by the following formula. So first I have uh, the same product as before. And uh, I 
i factorial a i and but i also i want to uh, Apart from this, I also have inside the normal ordering, I, I have the vertex operator labeled by this lattice element lambda. While omega is the same. So remark, uh, the similar remark, so from physics it describes now two-dimensional uh, uh, free, well, uh, maybe not, well, let me say, two-dimensional two compact uh, uh, chiral boson valued. In, uh, so before the boson was valued and the target space is H, and now the target space is H divided by lambda. That's why it's compact. Now we kind of extend it. So before any uh, Fock, Fock uh, space with, with any highest weight vector was a module, but now so we, once we extended the vertex operator algebra to this, the uh, the kind of the the, the modules the, the possible modules will actually be more restricted. So the possible modules uh, can be described as follows, so modules of uh, the slightest vertex operator algebra are uh, let me denote by M uh, mu, and uh, so mu will be element of the dual lattice, uh, but if but it will be uh, only what what will matter is only class of this uh, element modular the lattice itself, and it will be given by the following uh, direct sum. When now I take a sum of a lattice shifted by mu. And again, the action of the elements of the uh, VLA we would define just by the same formula because we already know those guys as a module of Heisenberg the algebra. Okay. So, uh, any questions about? So, this was a crash course in vertex operator algebras. And, uh, okay. So, now I want to construct. Uh, so, the idea is to construct some vertex operator algebras associated to four manifolds. And uh, so let me uh, kind of first uh, give some sort of uh, uh, brief uh, detour, in, uh, well, not really detour, but uh, so let me, uh, so what, is, what is the kind of physics, physical construction of, of the vertex operator algebra associated to four manifolds? And then I, uh, Kind of uh, try to continue discussion, of avoiding to this reference to the six dimensions. 
So I take a six dimensional 2,0 series as, uh, uh, labeled by some Lie algebra G, which is either so this is a direct sum of uh, abelian Lie algebras and simply laced Lie algebras. And uh, then I consider, so this is some six dimensional series, and I consider topological topologically twisted compatification on uh, for manifold M4, and this, this produces me some two dimensional 0, 0,2, uh, well, let's say quantum field theory T. Uh, usually denoted by well, let me denote the TG uh, of M4. So it will depend on four manifold and the choice of my the algebra G here. So this is some weird physical. Uh, this contains too much information. So in general, the theory itself is not a topological invariant of four manifold. It's not, uh, um, but. Uh, what we want to take is we want to consider the kind of BPS spectrum of the theory. And BPS spectrum of the theory should be a topological environment. And the BPS, it's known that the BPS spectrum of uh, two dimensional 0, 0,2 series is described in terms of uh, vertex operator algebras. So one, for example, let me say the following. So one way to understand this, so for example, many of you are familiar that uh, in 2D 2,2 theory, you can do a topological twist and uh, there will be uh, some sort of chiral algebra which describes the BPS spectrum of this, uh, uh, of 2,2 theory. And so here, instead of uh, kind of, uh, more simple chiral algebra, you have a kind of a richer structure, you have a vertex operator algebra structure. So in general, so it's a, if, if, if the studio, so in general here, we don't have any Lagrangian description. So in principle, a priori, we don't know if there is any Lagrangian description here. But if there is a particular Lagrangian description here, as a, for example, gauge linear sigma model description or nonlinear sigma model description, there is a, a mathematic, so from the data of the Lagrangian, there is a mathematically uh, systematic way to produce this vertex operator algebra. So in particular, if uh, the 2D theory is a sigma model uh, with target X, then uh, this vertex operator algebra is, uh, is, can be described as a global sections of uh, what is called uh, uh, shift of uh, chiral differential operators on X. So X here is the target, since this, the target here is supposed to be color, color manifold. And for example, in, uh, in a certain examples, this indeed, uh, this construction indeed gives uh, a certain, uh, a certain sigma model, which uh, actually related, uh, in certain cases, this, this sigma, the target X is related to the Higgs and Coulomb branches, uh, uh, which were talked about uh, in Hiraku Nakajima's talk. Okay. Well, but uh, you can always kind of go, go to, infra if you want, you can go to an infrared fixed point of this theory. But even though the, but the BOE still covers only a subsector of the, of the theory. Yes. I thought like it would maybe cover the full, full theory, like the compact boson would. Yeah, the BOE that described the. Well, uh, well, if you have some sort of just, for example, the, the free, the free, bo the free zero comma two uh, kind of chiral multiplet, then the resulting VOA is a beta gamma system. 
But I mean, more generally, if you have some sort of boson wallet in this target S, you need to do this uh, CDO, CDO, CDO construction. If you, if you have some sort of GLSM description, then you need to do some sort of this um, Dreamfield Sokolov uh, business uh, to construct this. Okay. And uh, Well, you kind of, uh, the sigma model means, uh, well, they're different, well, kind of, you, you, your, if you wish, your kind of pass integral is an is a integral over maps from a, a two-dimensional surface, which is a kind of source, your word sheet of here, 2x. Consider maps, you kind of integrate over maps. Uh, well, they can be different, you can, you can consider uh, com yes, but uh, it can be in, in general. It can have boundaries where you can put some boundary conditions, which uh, brains, deep brains. But uh, this, uh, uh, well, the uh, this kind of the PPS. So the two-dimensional series, the quantum field series, they are not kind of still not, not well de well defined. Like well, they they defined by by kind of in the uh, conform in the right fixed point by using this vertex period algebra that you can define them mathematically. But you can also define even uh, without going, like if you study some BPS part of the spectrum, there is a usually kind of mathematically well developed theory how to study, how to, how to study uh, the sigma models. There, there is no general relation, but uh, I will consider some examples kind of when, well, not in this lecture, but uh, later. Some example is some sub subclass, there is some correspondence between this X and uh, uh, your, uh, your uh, four manifold, if you four manifold of uh, some, uh, some special class, for example. So for example, if you, if you four manifold is something like P1 times the Riemann surface, some like uh, like root surface. Then uh, so you have some Riemann surface, and uh, uh, so for this Riemann surface, you can associate a kind of a Higgs branch of the corresponding class S theory. And roughly speaking, this X here will be uh, the this Higgs branch of this class S theory. So there is there is this uh, type of. Yes, okay. and it uh, depends, well, kind of, to be precise, on kind of smooth structure. And it depends only on the smooth structure. Yes. On, yeah. on yeah. Well, uh, yeah. I mean, so far there is no general, uh, like, mathematical construction of this, but uh, there are some you know, cases of G and M4 where you can, some sort of subclasses of four manifolds where you can do this construction, which I want to uh, consider in my talk. And, uh, and uh, yeah, but kind of physics uh, predicts, predicts, I mean, like up to, like if you assume that such object is well defined, then it should, then this thing should be also, should also exist. Okay, so, uh, so what kind of general, uh, can one make some sort of general prediction of uh, what, what about some, some, some general prediction of this vertex operator algebra? And, uh, So as a vector space, kind of uh, the naive uh, kind of prediction tells us uh, that uh, this should be uh, the cohomology of the joint union of all kind 
this is na naive in a certain sense, which I will comment before. The joint union of uh, instant on modular spaces on uh, my four manifold M4 with some gauge group G such that the Li, some compact uh, Li group G such that Li algebra of G is small g. So the ambiguity of, cho of side choice of G I will not discuss right now. And uh, uh, and uh, well, uh, Well, I mean, C2, like literally, literally, there is no definition of the Chern class for when G is not like SUN or EN, but uh, there, is no, there is a notion of characteristic class where you sum over. And uh, so, and this sum, so this corresponds to my Z grading in uh, VOA, and uh, the Z2 grading. Z uh, two grading, which I mentioned, is a homological grading mod two. Z two grading are denoted by F, and Z grading Z grading was denoted by L zero. And uh, so, of course, this, uh, for example, that can uh, this, so this. Uh, uh, can fail if there is a contribution from uh, which is Lotter mentioned. There is maybe some contribution uh, from uh, uh, monopoles. No monopole from monopoles. In particular, if one, t if one takes a trace and this is, so this is something which is uh, kind of in a sense is, is can be predicted from physics, but it also was, so for, for in certain cases, it was uh, in particular by some work by Nkajima, it was, uh, I mean, this, uh, th there was construction of vertex operator algebra structure on such, on, on such uh, spaces. And uh, so, so in particular, for example, if one takes a trace over this uh, VOA, of minus one to the F, Q to the L zero, then this should be the sum, the generic sum for, uh, characteristic of this instant on modular spaces. So this is kind of one, uh, so, but, in, but uh, here, so one can construct a different, like a different, Starting from this VOA, it contains more structure than just the character. It contains more information. It contains more information just than just the vector space. It contains the uh, uh, vertex, uh, this vertex algebra structure. To be precise, you need to do some sort of virtual order number. But, uh, well, as I said, this is kind of a naive, naive expectation. But uh, so let me uh, kind of give you some examples of explicit constructions of uh, vertex operator algebra associated to for my fields. So one example. So for when G is U, just U1, in principle, one can do this uh, for a very general manifold, for manifold. And this will be, so part of our goal 
well, uh, one of the goals will be uh, to say that w what is uh, called multi-monopole invariants, which I will introduce later, are related to, uh, in a certain way, to these correlation functions in the vertex operator algebra. Uh, in the corresponding vertex operator. So, so I don't have much time left. So let me, uh, for simplicity, so let me, let me consider M4 to be uh, uh, well, smooth, uh, compact uh, for manifold, but uh, it possibly, it possibly it will have a boundary. which I will denote by M3. So you can imagine having something like this. And uh, so let me for simplicity assume that it's simply connected. So then, then I can associate to the four manifold uh, the VOA as follows. So as a uh, so as as a Norris talk yesterday. So let me write uh, consider uh, one consider. Uh, Heisenberg algebra uh, first consider Heisenberg algebra associated to the vector space H, which is uh, the cohomology of M4 with real coefficients. So since it's a simply connected, this is a this contains only even degrees. So let me explicitly write it like this. And uh, let me consider the lambda to be uh, the second homology lattice of M4. And uh, so this can be, uh, by Poincare Lefschitz duality, this can be identified with. Uh, Relative cohomology in degree two, and the dual lattice. Uh, While well, the dual lattice is uh, can be identified with, uh, so this can be uh, considered as a, as a subspace in H two and four R, and the dual lattice lambda uh, can be. Uh, identified with the cohomology lattice, which is also can be understood as other subspace here. So the idea will be to construct a kind of a Heisenberg VA algebra for H0 and H4 and the lattice VA algebra uh, for, the, for the corresponding lattice lambda inside the subspace. So liter more literally, more explicitly, to the following direct sum of uh, well, 
let me write it like this fork uh, zero h and uh, there it is fork lambda of h two. And uh, so, and indeed, so you, so using so this has a uh, has the following interpretation. So using by Rajinovsky and Nakajima construction, which again was already mentioned in the uh, no stock with a slight modification. This can be understood as a uh, so this can be. This is isomorphic, isomorphic in the sense of modules of the uh, Heisenberg algebra uh, constructed by H to the cohomology of the joint union of. Uh, so, okay, this is in the case when M4 is a co S uh, complex projective surface. Uh, where okay, I'll finish in a moment. Where this this M is a moduli space of uh, torsion free so of rank one torsion free. Shifts uh, on S, and uh, so here I I, I don't have uh, I, I vary both the uh, the second and first. So sorry to be precise, this is a H2. and so I vary both the uh, first chunk class and the second component of the chunk character. And uh, so for any C1, this is isomorphic to the Hilbert scheme of points of uh, G2 points on S. And uh, so, yeah, by, uh, so, so as was explained in our talk yesterday, there was, there was some explicit construction of these uh, of the Heisenberg, of, of, of the of the of the Heisen, of the action of the Heisenberg Lie algebra constructed from this vector space on those on those, on those cohomologies. Okay, let me uh, stop here. With, uh,